beards are nature's homegrown organic bibs. If you know, you know. Welcome back to another episode of Automotive Insight. Today we have a 2016 Subaru Forester with a 2.5 liter. Customer states that they're hearing a humming noise. The noise and the tone changes with speed. So let's check it out. So the right rear wheel bearing is the noisy one and that's what's given the uh, rolling, roaring, humming noise in, in the cabin of the vehicle. So we'll replace the right rear, right rear wheel bearing. The lug nuts are 19 millimeters. Uh, next we're going to move the brake caliper with the bracket. The caliper bracket bolts are 14 millimeters. Next, we're going to move the CV axle nut. It is a 32 millimeter. So I'm going to use a punch to knock out the indention. I've also just put the socket on there and run it off. They have threaded holes in the rotor to help put a bolt in there to help push it off. Size like an M8 by 1.25. We're going to knock the CV axle in, trying to start to separate it from the hub. Next, we're going to move the, the wheel speed sensor. Uh, the bolt's a 10 millimeter. The four mounting bolts for the hub are 14 millimeters. I put two bolts back in in about three turns and we'll take a punch and we'll knock on the back side. The hub is loose. It's just the backing plate is slightly pressed on to the back of the hub. Give it a little tappy. Tap, tap, tap a roo. If you're planning to ever reuse that bearing and uh, some other repair, I don't recommend hitting the back of that because it's got the part of the ABS reluctor ring built in. Screw the inside of this a little bit, help to ease the installation of the new one. Same thing on backing plate. So we'll put our backing plate assembly and the wheel bearing on kind of together. Got our wheel bearing in tight. I'm gonna put our rotor back on. Yes, that is a brand new rotor. Put our brake caliper back on. I'm right, gonna put our wheel speed sensor back in. We're going to torque the CV axle nut. It is 140 foot pounds. We do have the other side on the ground. That way we can we can torque this because there's no way to hold this. Um, you can put your parking brake on, might work. And we're also a brake pedal depressor, but other tires on the ground.
Well, that wraps up another one. This job takes about an hour and a half. Uh, the parts cost between 150 and 200 bucks. Uh, it was just kind of a standard repair. Uh, things came apart um, like normal. But anyway, if you like what you saw today, you like, share, subscribe. Thanks for watching. Good.